It's going to be epic, escort quest and gifts from the fallen guys. We have a jeweled gauntlet, which is not very useful early game. It's not something we want to use early. It's not going to do a lot of damage without any other AP items. I'm going to reroll this for sure. Umbral crest is always very good. I did just sell Yuni though. I mean, with these augments, I don't really have much of a choice, do I? We gotta take the Umbral Crest here, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because Umbral is very OP, but I've been playing it a lot, so... Trying to not play it. Am I supposed to go Jewel Gauntlet? Probably not, right? I'm probably not supposed to go Jewel, Ga Jewel Gauntlet, and I don't think it will win. I don't think it will win the fight, anyway. This guy has a 2-star, which I don't, and he has a Gargoyles. He's a very strong tank. 3-cost tank, a Mumu, right? Yeah, yeah. We're not able to win this anyway. Just don't use the Jewel Gauntlet yet. It is not very good. Um, a Mumu, a Loon. A Loon is Exalted, so that's good. We can play Exalted. We can play Exalted. Hmm. I do not want a Jeweled Gauntlet. Oh, wow. Okay, I mean, that's really lucky. We'll take it, though. We will take it, though. Uh, what am I supposed to play? This guy, probably. And then just make her Exalted, right? I mean, Umbral. Okay, that is very lucky. We get a bunch of XP early on. That is very, very good. Okay, we get the Umbral, uh, the Exalted trait already early. So that's gonna bring us to level 8 quite quickly. Or even just level 7 and reroll, right? But am I really just playing a Loon? I have to, right? I, I really don't have a choice, guys. It is what it is. I do not have much of a choice. I have an Umbral emblem. I have to play a Loon, Yone, reroll. The question is... Question is, who's gonna be our umbral unit? Just the cane, right? I mean, I, guys, I can try to twist this into a different game, right? And go against the grain and try to play something absolutely different just so I have a different tuber or tomorrow. But I think it's just extremely dumb, right? It would just be extremely dumb. We need to play uh, the, the meta build. We are in ranked. That's how rank goes. That's so why ranked is not really that exciting. I'll keep it a stack in this game. Um, Darius. Okay. And then we'll mark him as well. He's the sixth Umbral unit. Uh, what about... Hmm, what is our portal again? What is our portal? Oh, Pot of Gold. This is actually dank. At stage 6-1, all living players split a pot of 250 gold. It used to be 120. They more than doubled it. It's actually insane. It's, it's actually a really fun portal now. Like, three people survive, everyone gets uh, so much gold, right? It's crazy. It's actually really crazy. Uh, okay, so the question is, do we really play Yoni reroll? We could just play a Loon reroll and play Umbral on one of these guys. Like, this guy, Umbral, instead of Kane. We'll see, though. We'll see. Oliver fills the carousel with three cost champions. There's an Aloon. Which I gotta take, right? She's exalted and thing. Might not get it though. It seems like he wants it. Oh, nice. That's really big. That's really big. We get an Aloon, a Tear as well, because she wants Shojin. So we get an Aloon with Tear. So, uh, Exalted. Exalted. Where is Exalted? So who do I play here? I can play a Mumu as my tank. I can play Thresh as well, so I'll have a lot of tanks. That's not bad, we'll have a lot of tanks. This is a really good Exalted pattern. It's actually busted beyond belief, right? Yeah, I mean, this is crazy, bro. For sure, yeah, for sure. Tear on a Loon. I think I'll give her a Rod. Because she's always gonna get a Rod, right? She she needs AP. But I don't like Jill Gauntlet. I want, um, I want Rabadons. It's better. It's way better. 
With Alun, you want Lilia surely. No, not surely. Not at all surely. Because if I play Lilia, the game gets very awkward, right? Then I'm just rerolling Alun instead of rerolling Yone and Alun. Kane ex uh, Umbral is always good. Uh, not surely. I was thinking about it, but it's not 100%. It depends on our items. If we get attack damage items for Yone and Kane, we can play that. If we get a lot of AP items, then we can play Lilia Dual Carry, yeah. But Lilia Dual Carry is gonna be a little bit flimsy. But since Exalted is so many tanks, maybe it's fine, right? I'm gonna have so many tanks, Exalted. So maybe it's completely fine. I do not need this. I do not need this, it's too expensive, right? It's too expensive. So again, for the people who don't know, Exalted Trait gives us 1% uh, bonus damage per level with 4 base. So right now I'm level 5, 9% bonus damage. But also 1 XP every turn, that little core that we keep selling, that little thing that we keep selling. And then, um, and it changes every game, right? It's very important in this set. You always want to play around it if you can. And since uh, Umbral is a loon here, yeah, easy. Easy. I'm with Thresh. I'm with Thresh a loon. That's about it. Easy peasy. And then we have um, Umbral, which just gives us the shield on the units that are on the on these purple hexes. But it also gives the Umbral units that are on these hexes um, an execute. 10% health execute, 18% at 4, four Umbral. At 6 Umbral, we just get a much bigger shield and the whole board will be Umbral. I don't think I'm buying this. I don't need this anymore, I have a 2 star. Okay, so our level 7 is just going to be probably this. And like um, Amumu. Amumu Thresh. Amumu Thresh. We can of course remove one of these for 6 Umbral. Since we have the emblem. Don't need any of these. Another crit glove, man. Not very good. The items are looking very, very trash. We might just go for a thieves glove. We might just go for a thieves glove, honestly. Or I could go for a hodge. I could go hodge jewel gauntlet. Hodge on Yone. Ah, it's just not gonna be as strong as usually, right? Just not gonna be as strong as usual. Am I supposed to level here? I can play another Yorick, which is honestly very significant. I still make 40, so we for sure level. Items are trash, bro. I could go Ginsu's on Alun. Seems really bad too, right? If I get Guardbreaker, Jewel Gauntlet is fine. But even then it's not fine, right? She doesn't have a lot of AP. Face AP. Jewel Gauntlet is just not that good without having a Rabadons as well. But it's also not that good without having bonus crit from a Guardbreaker or a Hodge. So Jewel Gauntlet is very awkward. It's good on uh, Sorcerers and stuff. Or what, what are they called? Arcanist. Because they get a lot of AP, right? You can go full crit with a lot of AP from the trait and you're good to go. I mean, Unified is insane on Umbral. Oh, Pandora's items is too good, though. I need to take Pandora's items, I think, here. Now we can get perfect items. It's way better. Alright, now we can get perfect items. I want to save this tier. I think I'm supposed to play this guy somehow. Nah, not really. Okay, this is just our team. We're leveling to 7. We roll down on 7. We just play a loon. Yone reroll. That's about it. I do not make the rules, guys. Riot keeps giving me these Umbral games. So we just gotta play it. We just gotta play it, guys. They keep giving them to me. I'm trying to get some different YouTube videos. But we can't just play something completely different. If this is what the game gives us, right? Archangel's not bad, no? It's not bad, yeah, but I need a tier. I need a Shojin, man. And Rabadon's is better. So why would we settle for something that's not bad? When we are already lost streaking anyway here. 
and we have uh, Pandora's items. We do not take Pandora's items to settle for anything that's not bad. If you take Pandora's items, you're down an augment unless you get perfect items. The perfect items can make up for it. What the frick is this? Ubum grants you six radiant items, which lasts one round. Oh, that's pretty crazy. What am I supposed to play? Surely not a second thingy. Maybe this? Okay. <clears throat> they just last for one round, right? Should be okay. I'm gonna take a big loss though. I have a really weak thing. Yeah, he has so, such good tank items. We will not kill a single unit, I predict. We will not kill a single unit here, bro. He got insane items. Okay, honestly. Oh, nice. We killed one. We're not gonna kill this freaking guy, man. And the Kha'Zix has edge, Radiant Edge of Night. One of the best Radiant items in the game. We will not kill this tank, yeah. Very unlucky matchup, isn't it? <laughs> not much we can do, guys. The encounters can be very fun. This one can be very frustrating uh, very often. This Ornn encounter is one of the worst ones for sure. Even one of the worst ones, I would say. Might even be... Uh, I, I would say this, the worst one is when the Carousel has... The worst one is by far when the carousel has um, radiant items, right? Because then the, the players that are losing get super rewarded and they can just win the game with their desired radiant item and the, the players that are just win streaking get completely punished, right? That one's probably the worst one. But yeah. You take some bad encounters, but you get a lot of fun out of it, out of some other encounters. Is Adaptive Helm better on a loon? Probably not, right? It's Shojin, I think. She gives herself attack speed as well, so it has to be Shojin. I'm su definitely supposed to play double a loon here. I'm not leveling yet. I'm gonna level at Wolves, a roll down, hit my three stars. We win the game. No one's contesting Yone. I'm not sure why no one ever contests Yone, bro. People are saying Yone is so strong and no one's playing Yone. I'm always the only one playing Yone. So why would I stop, right? Why would I stop? There's no reason to stop playing it. He has no ops, lul E. Yeah, man. I have no ops. Another gargoyle tank here. Can't really get through that. We don't have a lot of damage right now. We're very weak, but that's okay. As long as we hit our stuff later on. We want the Titans on Yone. I'm just gonna um, level after this automatically. We need an Amumu. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. We hope we find Silas and King. Of course, on our roll down as well on level 7. We do not level here. You just let us automatically level to save those four gold for the for the roll down. Save those four gold for the roll down. Okay, these are gonna be the marked units. Ah, yeah, should be fine. Hopefully this Kiana can do some damage here. She's doing fine. Oh, we might actually win this one. Oh, he's playing fortune, right? He wants to lose, yeah. That's okay, we'll take this. That's a good win. 48 health is a very comfortable position to be at. This, with this comp, I think. We can definitely come back. Oh. There we go, that's big. Exalted. Yone. Um, save the thing, guys. Don't let the don't let the thing reroll. Don't let the emblem reroll. Don't make that mistake, guys. Oh boy, watch the freak out. Bro, where's my dude? 
Okay, swords, we reroll those. Oh, actually, there's... Okay, one sword could have been fine, but it's fine. I get Titans on this guy. What was I supposed to kick there? I'm playing something wrong. Something is wrong on my board. I don't know what. What is wrong on my board? Do I not have room for 6 Umbral and Exalted? I think I don't have room for 6 Umbral and Exalted, right? So don't we want to go level 8 now? No, the Thresh is not wrong. Exalted is very important. The thing is, we want to level to 8 with Exalted, right? Stand United is not that good here. Capricious Forge is not even that bad. Support Cash. I feel like it's Capricious Forge, bro. I feel like Capricious Forge on set is pretty good. Right? Should be good. Um, so I can't play. I can't play the thing, huh? That's a little bit annoying. Do I just not play Reaver, uh, thingy? I just not play Reaper? Honestly, I can see that. I can see that. I just don't play Reaper. I, I can see that, bro. I can see that being correct. Like, Frick Reaper? Sure, whatever. Just don't play Reaper. Just do not play Reaper. 6 Umbral, 1000 health shield, I lose a little bit of damage because of Reaper. Is Ginsu's on Yone Abyss? Yeah. Oh yeah, we want to play Fated. Okay, okay, honestly we play Reaper then. Because we want to play Fated on the set. We want to play Fated on the set. Ah, true. See, I was trying to think. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Trojan. Okay, this is good. I have a lot of these guys. Uh, I think we just go level 10 now. I'm gonna sell this. I think we just go level... Eh, not level 10. We go level 9. We get Exalted more level... Eh, level 8, excuse me. We get the, we get more um, bonus damage from Exalted as well. This is good. This is really freaking good, man. Who has the most health? Probably these guys. 1.6k, 1.6k. Yeah, these guys have the most health. Okay. I need some tank items. The, the set is gonna go crazy. Remember, with Fated, with Fated, the set is gonna get Omnivamp, okay? His Fated bonus is 15% Omnivamp. So that's really good. We can, co we can connect him and um, and the Thresh, and the Thresh is gonna give the set bonus resistances as well. This should be a really strong set. So at least, yeah, I'm playing Yone and a Loon reroll again, I know, but at least the star of the show, or one of the stars, will be the set as well. With six Umbral. That's pretty good. I want um, Kindred to have the Umbral Emblem eventually. But for now, it just stays on the guy. Because I need to keep Exalted in. Um, is there a set? No, there isn't. So then we don't really care, right? We just take... I think I'll take a bow, because she's always gonna get a bow item, right? It's either Giant Slayer... It's either Giant Slayer or uh, Nasher's Tooth, right? So we just take the bow, it's 3 cost. Like, the bow is gonna give us a quick uh, spike as well. Should be good. We can put the bow on her already. It's either Na Na Nasher's Tooth or Giant Slayer. Oh no, I need her, I need her. I wanted to unmark a Mumu. I will need a new Thresh eventually. I will need a new Thresh eventually. So remember guys, the... the I, I can't use the... I can't use this. I, I can't use Hulk Crusher. Okay, 
Because I need to I need to make him squat, right? When he squats at the start of the fight, he gets permanent attack damage. He's already getting 20% permanent attack damage. He's getting 6 per turn, basically. Because he's squatting 2 units that have 1.5k health each. It's one, it's 2% attack damage per 1,000 health that he squats at the start of the fight. This is freedom. At the start of combat, yeah. But I feel like he didn't squat there. Am I wrong? Loki, he didn't squat there. Yeah? Stand in the puddle. Okay, mini game. Mini game time. I'm gonna cover this side. Alright. But why am I alone on this side? You freaking. Come on, come on guys, man. The frick is this? What, what are these mechanics, guys? Come on. Like, come on, don't miss any fishes. Okay, I think we did it. But bro, they, 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 they had like seven people up top. The frick is the point of that? Just cover your side. Come on, guys. Come on. Brain. Mechanics. I know it's TFT, but come on. We want a big reward. What do we get? Am I not supposed to level? I feel like I am. Because like, yeah, I, I make 20 now. Like I lose 3 gold, but I keeping the win streak is insane, right? We gotta keep the win streak. Bro, is it bug? Or did they just miss all the fishes? Did, did, my, did my enemies miss, miss all the fishes or what? The frick are they doing? Nah, that's crazy. That's wild. That's wild, guys. That 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 is like a that is like a mobile game. You know these mobile games that have these ants walking around, and you can you can put the screen in front of your cat, and the cat will squish the ants. You know these mobile games for cats. Bro, that is what this is. My my enemies are cats. Not even. Bro, what the frick was that, man? Did he squat or no? I sure hope he's squatting, man. If he's not squatting, something's wrong. Oh, he just squatted on this side as well. I feel like he's not squatting. Oh, but he's gaining bonus attack damage. He's 28%. He's at 28%. He's gaining it. It's for sure working. Has to be bugged. Happened to me twice as well. Okay. But it's funnier to flame my 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 enemies, no? Isn't that more funny? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But what are these items, man? Nashers or giant? I think giant slayer is better. I mean, don't I just go thieves glove? It's not even bad. Yeah. On a mumu for now, or actually on him. We're gonna roll here, right? Oh my. You got spirit. Like, I mean, I'm just going level 9 now. Like, what? I can still 3 star Yoni at level 9. I'm just going level 9 for the 1% bonus damage as well. I can play Bruiser at level 9, I guess. Does that even work? Oh, I just play Dryad Invoker, right? I just play Azir. Didn't I just roll past an Azir, though? I just play a Zir and I move items to a Zir and I move uh, Umbral Emblem to a Zir. Or not even. I don't even move Umbral Emblem to a Zir. We don't need everyone to execute, right? Yeah, we just go level 9 now. Bro, we for sure go level 9, right? I'm just gonna sell a loon. I'm gonna find, um, I'm gonna find the guy at level 9. Okay, so what we do here is Azir is gonna give us Invoker and Triad, which is fine. And Azir is gonna be uh, the best late game carry. So the best late game carry is basically gonna be uh, replace this uh, Alun. And I think the Umbral Emblem for him to execute is not really worth. 18% health execute, I think what we get more damage out of is just these items on Azir. He's gonna hard carry, and then the Yone is gonna be 3 star, and then... Um, 
yeah. And then uh, because we're so we're so close to Yone 3, but we're very far from Elun 3, right? So might as well just do that. Go level 9, roll down on 9 for an Azir, find Yone 3 as well in the process. Should be fine to find two Yones, right? Uncontested. And then also get 1% more damage from Exalted. Very good, guys. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I think that's good logic, right? That's a good uh, good gameplay. Let's go. Deserve. Well deserved. I have a new guy to move the Umbral Emblem. I'm still gonna move the Umbral Emblem to her, right? So she can execute as well. Which she can sometimes clutch the fight. Whereas he really does nothing. He's just a tank. So the execution doesn't do anything. He has Mana Zane. Again, he's getting some Omni Vamp. So it's fine. Like, when he high rolls his items, he's insane. When he low rolls them, it's okay. Like, these items still give a decent amount of stats. Like, look, this still gives 15 attack damage. 15% attack speed. You know? This one gives a lot of resistances. 30 attack speed. Like, it's not that bad, bro. It's really not that bad. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, if I knew I would two-star him really fast, you know what I mean? Then we would've tried to go for proper items for him, like Butters and Sterox and stuff. But you cannot predict that, right? But this is good enough, this is good enough. He has 60% bonus attack damage. <laughs> and you know, the Mana Zane is not even that bad. Trinity is insane, Death's Defiance is insane. Um, all the tank items are fine, perfectly fine, right? Make him stay alive, he has enough damage. This is good! It's good stuff! It's really good stuff, no? I want some tank items. There's an Azir with an Adaptive Helm, which I would have taken. I think I'll just go Redemption on the Thresh. Okay. Let's go. Well, actually, probably just put it on Silas, right? Silas is gonna eventually get it. When he's two star, he's gonna have more health than Thresh. Why does this guy have 2k health now? And this guy have 1.9k. Oh, 1.9k because of the Fated. Okay. And he has 2k health because of this. Okay. Because of the Thieves' Glove. We're just leveling after after Dragon, right? I don't think we have to reposition. He keeps getting mana, Zane. Please don't be bugged. Mm, no 3-star Bard yet, but 3-star Tom Kench. Extremely tanky, by the way. But that, that set makes use of that, right? He's gonna one-shot the backline, yeah. <laughs> the more tanky the unit, I think. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think he does that, right? That's only in League of Legends. That's only in actual League of Legends, right? Oh no, it is. Par targets maximum health, yeah. It is targets maximum health. <laughs> so we just obliterate him. We're on a 10 win streak. Yeah, I don't know, guys. If you want easy LP, just play this comp, man. Umbral is beyond broken. Yone is beyond broken. Yone is always broken. In, in every TFC set, Yone is a problem. The base, frick it, who cares? I like him. I like him, guys. Who cares, man? GG. I could level here, and I can see it being correct. I definitely think it's correct. Is it is it correct to already move the items when he's one star? I'll say yes. Like, I'm telling you, this Azir is not balanced. Azir is gonna get nerfed. Azir is not a very balanced unit. Like, I think he's gonna pop off and do 10k. Or like 8k. I'm gonna say 8k. Oh, I have I have Trinity and Zonyas. So I win this fight for free. I think the Azir is gonna do 10k. Okay, I mean, not if the enemy dies to all my other units, right? Like, not if they just die to all my other units. Like, it is what it is. That's not the Azir's fault, you know? The Azir did 3.5k, which is similar to what uh, Alun did in the previous fight-ish, right? But the previous fight took a little bit longer. Ooh, double Trinity. Unfortunately, it's it's not player combat, so... 
I'm pretty sure I have to roll a 9, right? If I go level 10, I'll have no chance of finding Uni 3. I still want to find Uni 3, and the game is almost ending. So I just need to spike here, right? This guy has a lot of legendaries 2-star, though. 7 Story Weaver. It's, this guy is very strong. He might beat me, actually. Legit. I need Uni 3 for him. And I need a Zier, too. What else am I supposed to play now? The last time I ate a plant was never. Fate is in our hands. Wait, what else am I supposed to play now? Wait, I don't freaking know. Oh, Bruiser, I guess? Bruiser? He should be next to the set now. Oh, the set got uh, Death's Defiance. I think we win the fight for free. Uh, what am I supposed to play? Bruiser? I guess so. Sage is insane here. But oh, we're not playing Sage, are we? Wait, do we have Sage? Brother, we do not have Sage. I added this guy because I didn't know what else to add. I think we're just playing Bruiser, right? No prison can hold me. See, I told you this this portal is fun, no? Isn't this portal really fun? We just got so much money, I completely forgot about it. Away. It's for sure Bruiser on so much frontline, right? We have so much we have so much health and we have so so many units, so it's Bruiser for sure. I need one Yone, I should find it still. It's 20% chance, I should still find Yone at level 10. Just one, shouldn't be that big of a deal. We'll never 3 star set, right? This guy's using a set, uh, so we can't 3 star him. Azir is beyond broken. Again, Azir is... Challengers are saying Azir is the best carry right now in the game. The best 5 cost, 9k damage. Very good, he's level 10 as well though. Has all the, t has all the legendaries 2 starred. Alright, GG. That should put us over the edge, right? I could go Umbral Emblem on her, but I would rather keep the 2 star. Okay, I mean, he has 2 star Lissandra, though. If he positions her well, he can, he can beat me. He's really good against melee carries. And he has good items on her as well. We need to kill her fast. She's not focusing my dude, though. She puts someone in this little kettle, right? She just takes them out of the fight for a couple seconds. But she did get focused and died instantly, so... If we if we beat him here, he's dead. Which we need to beat him here. Nice, we beat him. That's good. We won the game. GG. This guy's gonna die to a ghost of us because we're by far the strongest two players in the lobby. GG! Pot of gold! 250 gold? Divided by three or something there. Or divided by four. Whatever it was. Guys, this portal is really cool. We'll take you guys. Subscribe ring Haitian bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic, algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time.